What's up, y'all? This is Sebastian Michael, and you're checking out anonymouslygifted.com. Peace out. Michael. Who is Sebastian Michael? He is a kid from Sweden who sings R&B music. Who is a really nice guy if you get to know me. I might be a little rude sometimes, but I'm a nice guy altogether. Um, I got a single out right now called For You featuring Rick Ross. Um, had a song called Last Night with Wale. And uh, yeah, get to know me. So. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's your nationality? Swedish. And are you mixed? Yes. Right. My, <laughs> my dad is Swedish and my mom uh, is Ethiopian, so I'm half African, half European. Yeah. Okay. I grew up in Sweden. So, now that you mentioned that you are from Sweden, you grew yeah. up there, yeah. what was, how drastic was the change moving from Sweden to the U.S.? Um, it was really drastic, my move from to the U.S. from Sweden because I was really young, I was 18, and uh, just had, I just got out of school, high school. And, just really uh, took a risk, you know, it was, it was very necessary in my life, I felt like it wasn't really going too well for me out of Sweden, so it was a necessary move for me to move out there, and I was blessed enough to get, uh, go to a school out there and get a scholarship to a school called MI, and um, after that I just managed to stay in the country and managed to um, start doing music, and you know, long story short, and I'm today, I'm enjoying my life. Literally after you moved to the U.S., you got signed. Not, no, not uh, right when I moved. I, I came in 08 and I got signed in 2012, so it took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do, and what type of artist I wanted to be, and also just develop as an artist, you know, musically. And um, I felt when around 2011 is the year when I started feeling like I was ready. And I, I started myself on my YouTube videos and I put out a mixtape out there. Uh, doing a lot of street performances, you know, in Boston and different places in the states, and uh, we got discovered from a YouTube video, and that's that's how I eventually got signed. <laughs> okay, so um, you are signed with Slippin' Five. Yes. Now you have an album coming out next month mm -hmm. called Speechless. Yeah. June twenty fourth. June twenty fourth. What can we expect from the project? Well, it's definitely my story, which I've been really, really waiting for you know, to share to people because, you know, my uh, my childhood was, was, you know, rough in a lot of ways, especially when it comes to racial issues, you know, being uh, half African, half white, um, dealing with a lot of racism against Sweden that, that I faced is growing up. And, you know, a lot of those issues that we still have today, you know, out there, like I, I want to speak on that and I want to be able to inspire people like in different places that, you know, nothing is really impossible, you know what I mean? It don't matter where you're from, you can always get to where you want to get and you can dream big and you know, should not be scared of doing that. And that whole album is really about my journey, coming from Sweden, coming over here, and everything I went through, you know. Did you work with anybody special on the album? Yeah. Who? Myself. Yeah. Um, no, I have I have a few features on there. I have Rick Ross, I have Wale, uh, Tiana Taylor, I have Big D and Lamb who produce a lot of the records. Actually, every single single that I have to this day we produced. Two producers from Sweden actually, uh, Grammy nominated. Um, I've done a lot of work with Rico Love. Uh, and, uh, that basically sums up. Yeah. So you recently dropped an EP called The Waiting Game. Mm -hmm. um, how did you like the response Loved to it. that? Loved it. It was everything I expected, you know, even better. So I'm happy with it. So will the um, format of that EP be used for the album? Nah. It's, the album to me is way more personal. Even though everything I write is from my own you know, life experiences or whatever. But the album... I wanted to make sure it had a storyline. I wanted to make sure that everything that I've been wanted to say and been wanted to do as an artist, I had on the album. You know what I mean? So I'm not gonna talk too much about it. I want people to, you know, listen to it and then relate from there. But just know that I've been working on this for two years. Like it's it's one of those projects that I've just been putting a lot of myself into, a lot of heart, a lot of 
blood, sweat, and tears. I know it sounds cliche, but literally, like it's it's been a lot. You know what I mean? Coming up with this project, so I'm really really excited about it. All right. Yeah. Um, any last words? I mean, I just want to say to all my fans out there that I love y'all. You guys have my motivation to keep doing what I'm doing. So keep supporting, man. I'm going to keep putting out more music. Alright, exactly. so, it is Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Still considered Wednesday. Yes. It's also Women Crush Wednesday. Uh-huh. Who is your Women Crush for today? For today? Jayla. Jayla? I just saw a performance on... Uh, the Billboard Awards? What was that? Was it American Idol? Billboard. Mm -mm, Billboard Awards. That was, that's what it was? I thought that was ill. She still got it. She still looked good. I can't believe she's 40 something, but yeah, she's still J Lo, so she got it today. Uh, mm -hmm. I hear you do a great Jay Z impression. Nah, you never heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it somewhere. We can't get Jay Z out of Marcy real quick. I'm chilling. I'm, you know, just, just doing an interview, um, making sure that. You know, the younger people see, um, you know, who I am today and where I came from. Everybody know I'm from Marcy Projects. And um, some might call it, I, I accomplished the American dream that people will call it. And, you know, I'm here today and I'm able to perform at the Madison Square Garden. And, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, <laughs> it's just, my team is here, they, yeah, they make me laugh. You know? <laughs>